me. Bored another one, didn't I? Yes, the Betty is back. Here's a rundown. How's I do it? Let's go. Hi, the old Betty. I figured I'd bring this video to you guys to, uh, you know, bring you a bit of insight as to. All right, right so give me a quick thing. rundown. So um, I jumped on Facebook. Checked yeah, one out, right, I was like, no, fuck no, yeah, this is sick. Um, and I started on the upgrade yeah, path from there. As you can tell, this is the old kit. Like, you know, this chick's having a bit of fun, but trust me, she's like 40 kilos. It's not going to pull you around. There's a 36 volt kit, an exam battery. She's ready to roll me and my partner's just cruising along. Alright, let's get back to it. Well, for starters, I've actually bought it originally to hold Nesky. So under this seat, hold a couple of stubbies, whatever else, uh, a few candies. The uh, missus actually really wanted one where she could hold one or two. You know, if we could go for a good adventure and things like that, you can hook a, hook a bit of ice in here, a uh, bit of a couple of cans, and yeah, you'll be right. So you could go a good journey and not be over the limit. But it was just a good way to be able to hold, you know, different things without actually having a bag or anything attached to it. Plus, it's comfortable as. So I started with this 36 volt upgrade, which was, you know, quite decent. I think it was like 25, 30 k's an hour. Like, it wasn't anything to crack up. But, it was still pretty cool. Still hooting along. The motor got quite hot, I'll be completely honest. Like, it was a bit, you know, how you going? Still able, with a little Exomi battery, to get into Surface Paradise and back, which I thought was quite good. Other than that, I'm bored and uh, my mate DC Unplugged actually said to me he's got a 48 volt motor and controller. 50 amp one, which is quite a decent amount of ampage. And it was a mid drive engine, so I was like, I was pretty interested. I had a look and it would actually fit up into a Betty chassis. So I did that to this one. Just while the video With goes along, I'm going to show you, you know, volt. what the process so was. I lined up all the holes, got a bit of paper. Made sure they're all aligned, drilled out the new ones for the bigger motor. Um, and it fit quite well. I was like, fuck yeah. It's pretty big. Made sure the control block was in there so that it didn't overheat. You know, I was pushing out a bit of voltage in this, so you don't want anything to catch on fire. Like, that is not fun. Gold sprockets are 118 to 52 volt battery. And I figured to give it a go up the hill. Let's see what happens. First off, it's just wheeling in the air, all torque, it's just smashing 52 volt drill motors, but partner can jump on, cruise along, and we can go for a cruise to Surface Paradise, or, you know, it's got the range to get there, Bluetooth speaker on the back, so you got your tunes, tell you what, it's absolutely a lot of fun, easy to manoeuvre, and you can drift it too, well, there you go. All the way along, <laughs> it's got so much to it. And it was still only hit about 33k an hour, and I was a bit, you know, I was looking at it like, what the fuck? Like, I've just spent all this time, all this effort. I even wired it up the display, headlight, tail lights, everything like that. And it was still only on 33k an hour, and I really wanted to go quick. So I was like, all right, what else can I do? I put a 800 watt uh, electric scooter engine on the front. It's still in there actually right now, but that engine alone, you know, actually produced quite a amount of torque between the 48 volt 1000 watt on the back and the 800 watt on the front. Yeah, I think it got to about 45, 50 k's an hour. Like the front motor was definitely hauling ass, so I needed to change the sprocket on the rear. And the Razer E300 has a really, really good small sprocket that bolts directly onto a Betty. I think it's 52 sprocket, 52 two sprocket versus a 118 on the Betty as a stock. So I was like, all right, that's the best thing I'm gonna do. I chucked that on the rear and ended up, like same day I was chucking it on, ended up realizing it was buckled to the shit house. So I was like, fuck, what do I do? Alright, so I chucked a X10 motor on the rear, which is a, I think, 1000 watt, 1200 watt peak uh, motor, put a 52 volt system through it, I think it's a 70 or 80 amp controller, which is what's on this bedding now, 
which also incorporates a disc brake, which I've been able to hook up to the original bracket which held the chain guard. And you can hook up a disc brake to it, which means that this thing can stop. I have, thanks to the Purple Nami, uh, thanks for this, he has given me a set of Vito forks, which come with the bracket straight away. I'm going to hook these up as well too, which will give this little heavy, hopefully, front braking, rear braking, and I should be able to hook up engine braking on the front as well too. So, this little weapon now hits about 64, 65. much but it's got no suspension it's running on 10 inch tires and originally without any sort of modifications it would hit about 12 to 15 k's now if you were lucky on my one if you were lucky um so to be able to achieve this like it blows me away it's still sold as an electric scooter in australia so in queensland this thing is completely legal as long as we do the speed limits which is 25 in the bike lanes 12 in the footpath so far when this video was made but it's very exciting. Um, so, considering I ripped out the 48 volt chain drive and um, controller into from this one, I've had it lying around, and I was going into cash converters one day because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but Cashies always has some of the most random things to buy. And it's pretty sick, like I'll be straight. So, I've walked in there and there's this Betty sitting out the front on the locking chain and I'm like what and this was about you know three or four months ago and I was like okay it's sitting there I'll see if anyone buys it and when I bought this there was ones on the marketplace everywhere there I could find them for a hundred bucks 120 bucks 150 bucks I ended up buying this one for I think a hundred dollars which I was stoked about because that was actually pretty cheap for the condition. I think this is most of them about 2014. So you got to consider they're not new things. They're actually quite old. But I bought this and I started modifying it and I've fallen in love with it because they're so comfortable. Everyone turns around and has a good laugh with you. You know, yeah, um, everyone wants to see it. It's I thought it was going to be the stupidest thing in the world, do not get me wrong, but it is the funnest thing ever. You can throw it around corners like it's nothing. I've been able to keep up with some of the big boys with NAMIs and X-10s, everything like that. They're, it out-accelerates them. Um, it's just losing a bit of top end, I think, with the front motor, but hopefully that should, should change. Uh, future hopes, I'm hoping to get a Wolf Warrior X running gear into this. So 65, 70 k's an hour should be quite easy. And having that massive 30 amp hour battery, or oh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but if I can get one of those shells with everything running just a snap frame, I'm gonna dump that straight into this. The new one is a 48 volt battery, which I got out of a McCann MX60, M oh sorry, uh, Wide Wheel Pro. Um, it was a dead Wide Wheel Pro, corrosion all through it, but the battery still held a bit of charge, so hopefully I'm going to chuck that into it. I've got the 48 volt motor and controller, and I should be able to actually have two of these things running, which is really sick. To see around the Gold Coast, you wouldn't see too many of them, let alone for adults to be able to ride them quite comfortably. You know, you've still got your storage container in the rear. You know, my partner alone, like, she adores these it's she's always used to the stand-up scooters so that she's seen this from ground one she's being able to ride it and from the original beginning she liked it once i put the 48 volt oh sorry 52 volt chain drive on it it was a bit torquey and with 118 to sprocket it would just lift up the front wheel i'll just show you guys in the video anyway when it was like that it was just like talk monster but 33 k's now is the best you're gonna get so the new one i put the 55 2 sprocket on it uh 48 volt chain drive so it should have a fair bit of torque um, 40 k's now is more than fine with one of these um it'll have the 12 inch wheels on it as well too so it'll be cool uh you guys will see some videos obviously of us chilling around 
I'll try and post up more about what's going on, but 